Hi Scorpio, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. This will go from June 10th through the 16th. Um, let's get into it. Uh, thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Continue to do so. Thank you. So Scorpio, the cards are absolutely beautiful. We have the Knight of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Swords. Because I, the cards are beautiful, right? And um, then I pulled an Angel Answers card. And I got not the right time. So that's when I started to clarify. At the bottom of the clarifying deck, we have the Ace of Cups again. And uh, then we have the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Uh, for the main deck that I'm using. Okay, um, Scorpio, this really looks like a situation where there is new love, um, new fulfillment. Um, it's, it's still new. Um, one year, uh, less than a year. Something of that nature. Um, but it's very promising. You know, it's all about how you cultivate the new love. Um, and if you you use this Ace of Swords correctly, or or vice versa, um, there there was a, something that an ex told me years ago when I first met him, and we had the little talk. You know, are you dating anybody? And blah blah blah. And he says, "Well, you know that no one is really single." And it you know it took a you know for me to kind of process that and I thought about it nobody is really truly truly single there's always an option there's always someone in the background there's always someone who likes you and maybe you don't like them no one is truly truly single I mean maybe there are a few people in the world but if you are dating if you're in the dating world um, or the dating game then no one is truly single so there might be a, a sense of where ace of swords someone needs to to have a new start you need to cut away i say that because the knight of pentacles uh, what clarifies the knight of pentacles is the five of swords so we always know that the five of swords is about things that may have, may crop back up crop up from the past uh the fives govern drama love affairs childlike uh, mindset and games so in order for you to maybe get this very solid offer that may take a while but it's coming um, you may have to deal with something from the past or someone from the past that may be jealous or may harbor resentment or just wants to interfere in what you have going now if you put those together you get the six of swords right so you get the choice to move into a more calm state the sixes are about choices it's not about division or being divisive but it's about the choice a choice is different from a decision the choice a choice is i have let's say i have two two very real things to choose from i choose this one here okay but this one is still there that's the difference from a choice it's still an option it's still there a decision is when you you cut in two and then you cut away so it's a it's not making the the other option readily available um, not in your space so it looks like someone maybe you Scorpio or someone you're dealing with needs to deal with something or someone from the past or some someone's from the past um, they keep causing drama maybe in what could be now a committed relationship um, Scorpio you could also be waiting for judgment in regards to maybe severing the ties um, of a marriage a committed relationship you could be waiting for some type of monetary judgment 
Um, there's a newfound love for self. This is how you are coming off to the world. Um, it just says, if you are waiting for judgment, you're waiting for money. This is not the right time. You're going to have to continue to wait and do the work. Whatever it may be in regards to if it's, you know, court related. Um, there is resentment and regret here. And I think that's what keeps you stuck mentally. It keeps you tied mentally to someone who you shared resources with, who you had a shared life with. Um, this may be the division of resources. For some of you who are embarking on something new, it may not be the right time to completely dive 100% in because you need to do more work. You need to get to know each other even more. Uh, this The threes are about creation and doing the work and, you know, the three of cups dating, three of wands, doing the work in regards to trying to establish something foundational, four of wands. So it's about uh, the discovery period right um also because some of you may be a little bit um weary in regards to the sharing of assets and the sharing of, of money and, and and sharing a life you may have already done that before or you may be weary about that because you've had negative experience so something from the past keeps you in a negative mental state uh the threes are about and thinking in your mind and uh, social activities so um, you may need to get to know your person more and you may need to think about this more you may need to think about the fact that you have to get over and get beyond maybe a negative situation before you jump into something else but all in all it's not a negative read it just says take your time with this Scorpio or vice versa maybe someone is doing all of this with you taking their time with you um but they still have real true feelings here okay scorpio if you feel like this reading resonates with you for you um go over to the website and book your own reading where we can do a spread like this for you in your own energy thank you scorpio take care remember to stay in prayer bye